Hello everyone, the mean team here. I finally have my laptop back. And so today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a bonus demonstration for you guys. I'm going to show you uh, basically what I have on the guide on the forum where I make a forum game uh, based on a world builder save. Now this particular game will be for the upcoming Immortal University game. And I will probably do a let's play of it. But for now, let's set it up. We are going to use Saladin. Uh, so as you can see, pick your sieve, uh, fractal, standard settings, no huts and events. It's a comparison game, so it makes sense. You hit launch. Um, basically, you start up the game like any other time. Alright, now what I like to do, if I'm actually wanting to play the game blind, is I'll get the start and... I'll just zoom in as much as possible. And that's when you enter World Builder. Now, without looking at anything really, you just save it. Um, I don't actually remember which one this is. Well, I'll deal with that off screen for the number. I'll look that up. For now, I'm just going to call it uh, Immortal Saladin. Alright. World Builder, get out of the game. Go into your Beyond the Sword directory, and it'll be under Saves World Builder. And I was looking for Immortal Salad, and here we go. Now you right click and you tell it open with. Uh, Notepad works, but f yeah, I, I prefer a normal word processor. Uh, open Office is basically a free version of Microsoft Word. And the reason for that, I'll, I'll show you in a minute, it lets you use the find and replace command. Come on now. And I'll, I'll try and post the link to the uh, written version of this as well. I already wrote this guide on the Civilization Fanatics forums also. Okay, here we go. Uh, to make this playable on any game speed, just to set speed equal to zero. Same thing with max turns. Now, the next line, here's the starting texts are. As you can see, yeah, Mortal adds a couple extra text to all the AIs. Uh, since this is Mortal University, I'm not removing those, because they should be there. But just for a reference, you can add or um, remove technology. So, uh, most typical is the archery technology, and you would just ca you would just paste tech equals tech archery for all the AIs if you were like running a map of noble that you wanted to upgrade to monarch or immortal. All right, now I'll go down to the player line here. Leader name. Well, I'm going to want it to be immortal student, like so. And this is the only sieve we want playable in this scenario. We, we don't want to spoil the other sieves for everybody. And there's a way to do this as the host without uh, finding out what, who the other sieves are really. What you do is control F or go find, either way, it's the find replace command. We're finding playable sieve equals 1 and replacing it with playable sieve equals 0. Now, note that it's case sensitive. You have to capitalize the P and the C, or uh, it'll just ignore it as if you didn't do anything, basically. And we don't want that. Alright, so replace all. Seven times, good. Well, I get to see one person. Alright, uh, once you've done that, obviously uh, you, you want at least one sieve to be playable, so you go back down here and switch the player sieve back to playable sieve equals one. Now, there's a couple other things you can do. I, this is Immortal University, like I mentioned already. So I don't want to uh, remove the Immortal bonuses. But you can actually uh, make it so that the AI's handicaps vary by difficulty level. Uh, let me show you how to do that. Again, Control F. And there's a line basically that says handicap equals. If you want to get rid of it, handicap equals. And just... Uh, replace all. Actually, that'll, probably, that'll be fine in this game, because anybody playing it at Immortal, the AI's handicap will default to that anyway. 
so you replace all and all the handicaps are gone um, including that for the player so if the player wanted to uh, try to cheese ball and use a different sieve or something he, he wouldn't start out with like immortal research bonuses or anything now the final thing you can do is to sweep the starting units off the map and to do that it again control F and just begin unit and hit replace all again that will delete absolutely everything uh, in terms of starting units and then it just goes to default for the difficulty level now keep in mind that the defaults based on the difficulty level will be modified by the text if the AIs have archery they start with archers if they do not they start with warriors um, hell you could give them something like rifling and they would start with rifles I really don't suggest doing that though but yeah you could and scrolling down there's a couple other settings here since I have some extra time I'll just go over some of the more advanced things you can do um, you can switch out starting civics if you really want to you can switch start location uh, you can actually if you know the XML data you can uh, switch out the leader or a civ and put in like Sid Meier or Meyer I guess it's Sid Meier uh, you can switch your color so if I didn't want Arabia to be light green this game I could make them black like the barbarians if I wanted to and I've done that before um, minor nations if you set this equal to one everybody starts at war with that civ and now, they're like barbarians but they get a palace and then finally starting X and starting Y uh, corresponds to that uh, tile plot on the map if you change it um, you can change where the starting settler spawns but in order for that to be effective you need to sweep out the uh, begin unit line otherwise the unit will spawn in its original place now there's a trick to figuring out um, where these are basically uh, where X and Y is uh, let me let me go ahead and find begin unit for you alright see so you, you get down here and it, it, it's kind of tricky right like where is X equals 9 Y equals 28 well if you add uh, like, a, like a rare type of unit or a unit that wouldn't normally be there at the start of the game like say a modern armor then you could just do find modern armor which I didn't add, or you know, just the word modern even. And if there were modern armor, it would show up underneath the begin unit line, and it would tell you the X and Y. So you can use stray units as placeholders and to find out your X and Y, and then when you clean out the begin unit lines, they'll be deleted too. If you do do that, just make sure to uh, delete this team reveal line too. That'll com that'll make it so that nobody can see anything but where their starting units are. And actually, that's probably fine to do for this too, even though I don't usually bother when I don't modify the starting units. But yeah, like so, team reveal equals delete that. Oop. Well, that's strange. Anyway, you hit the point. You can mute it. Where was it? I'm just going to try and copy paste it to get rid of it. There we go. Now, none of the plots that are visible will be automatically visible, even if there's units to be seen. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's how you make a, a basic form game based on a start. Now, before you do this, you can, uh, if you don't want to play the map blind or if you want to tweak it for balance, you can modify the map um, in World Builder first to make sure it's to your liking and then do this part. So then you just save it and click yes. Um, yeah, I shouldn't have closed that. Save World Builder. Once you have that, then you just right click and use any basic zip software you have and add it to an archive and once that's done you can upload your game to the forum so um, that's that nice and simple well that, that concludes this bonus episode hopefully it shows that my laptop is functioning my recording software works and uh, that and I can go ahead and get started on the let's play and it will probably be this game actually on immortal since I've been getting requests for that and yeah, I'm just happy to have a, a, a reasonably serviceable machine to play back. So.
So uh, I'll see you guys once I start up on my third Let's Play Civilization 4. The me and team signing off for now.